European Union lawmaking is set to get more complicated after parliamentary elections offered up a mixed picture across the continent. Parties on the populist right made huge gains in many countries, while in others, support for the centre-right establishment held firm, and left-wing parties made surprising advances. In Austria, the far-right party led by Herbert Kickel came first with 25.7% of the vote, just ahead of the ruling Conservative People's Party at 24.7%. Belgium's triple election saw far-right Vlaams Belang narrowly coming first, followed closely by the liberal reformist movement and the nationalist NVA. The far-right party gained ground as well, but fell short of expectations. Nordic countries bucked the trend, with Denmark's Socialist People's Party becoming the largest with 17.4% of the vote, while the ruling Social Democrats lost significant support. In France, President Macron called snap legislative elections after Marine Le Pen's far-right national rally won about 32% of the vote, more than double that of Macron's allies. In Germany, the conservative bloc led by the Christian Democratic Union maintained its position as the strongest party, while Chancellor Olaf Scholz's governing coalition suffered significant losses. These results reflect the diverse and shifting political landscape across Europe.